Digital technology, Delatoso tried to determine the tape's authenticity. I've been exploring, looking at different aspects of the image itself to develop questions for a matrix on is it real or is it fake. I grabbed a frame in the computer and we're outputting it now in digital format and you can see that we have an absolutely solid picture. What we've done is taken the picture and moved it over so that we can look at the information that's in between the frames. Now, when we look at the motion video, we can see that it still is not bad. And when we have this little indicator down here, it tells me that the original image was transferred using some kind of time-based corrector. These are video screens up here, television, video monitors, and they're off at an angle. If this was shot using a video camera with lines on it, we would see more A patterns up there, and we don't see the more A patterns. So there's a probability that this was shot originally on film, possibly a film stock like 7252 or 7247, depending on the lighting. The idea that these images may have originated on film is in direct contradiction to Victor's statement that the interview was shot on video. On closer inspection, Delatoso decided the images could indeed have been recorded by a video camera under certain specific conditions. In this case, uh, I, I get the, the sense of it that this was originally created using um, uh, either film, transferred telecine to beta, but then this is the third generation, or it was taped under very low light conditions with the uh, video gain boosted probably 12 dB. Even the emotionless analysis of a computer cannot provide a definitive answer. De La Toso's efforts yield tantalizing hints, but in the end, they only increase the mystery. One of the key things about this creature are its eyes. Like the other experts, video analyst Jim Delatoso was emotionally affected by what he saw. He took the tape very seriously and offered this personal opinion. If someone faked this, I don't like these people. I think it's a bad thing for people to do because if extraterrestrials come here, it's an incredibly important thing to understand who they are and why are they coming here. If this is not faked, I think we've got a glimpse here of a sense of, of communication with someone who came from a long distance away. When asked his opinion of the alien interview, Adair was careful to answer only in terms of his own experiences. If you're referring to the film where um, it's aliens being interrogated at Area 51, I don't know. I've never seen a UFO in my life. I've never seen aliens pickled in a jar or anything like that. But I know I saw an engine that wasn't from our terrestrial technology. If you look at an engine like that, it came out of a craft. If it come out of a craft, then that craft has occupants. So it's very logical to assume then that uh, those occupants could still be here and they could be interrogating them or they could have downed another craft since 1971. Makeup artist John Criswell has provided special effects creatures for many Hollywood motion pictures and television shows, such as Space Invaders and Babylon 5. Hired by Rocket Pictures to create the aliens for the recreation segments of this program, Criswell was very interested to finally see the real thing. By Hollywood standards, I, I would say this is it's, it's a pretty decent puppet. Well, to be honest with you, I, I would love to buy this being real, but it's probably a hoax. Well, I think this is a really cool design, and it's, it's a great concept, but I think I could have done better. Whoever did this, I mean, they, they could have a job in Hollywood in a, in a minute. Um, no problem. This one has a much creepier quality than the, than the alien autopsy tape, I think. 
Um, that one, that one, I definitely didn't buy just because of the of the way it laid on the table. Um, there was a couple of things. This actually, whoever did this was, or if someone did this, they were very clever because it, you know, it it hides a lot of stuff. So that's what makes me kind of disbelieve it a, a little bit. But you know, who knows? Criswell thought the alien exhibited movements that would be difficult to fake. There are there are moments when. It, it, this looks very real, and and I don't know how they did certain little things about this. Um, so right, right when I would say that it's definitely a puppet, he he moves a certain way, or, or he'll or he'll lift up in the frame and all that, and all these little things are important to the you know 